Hello and welcome to my presentation on the Mario Cinematics University. Today, we will be discussing the newest trailer as well as one other thing. The Mario show is canon. I'll prove it. We gotta skip, we gotta skip a lot of this. Gotta skip a lot of this video. Hold on. Right here. Now, oh, not that, Luigi. Not that, Luigi. Not the ad. No, not the ad indeed. It is in fact this, watch this. Now you see this? Canon infinite timelines. Didn't expect that, did you, buddy? Now. Our first stop in the timeline is the Super Mario Brothers Super Show intro, okay? Now, that show has several splits. Split number one. The live-action version. This is where they do not enter that drain at all. And they meet Shaquille O'Neal in their closet or whatever. Second split is they do go down the drain and they do all of their adventures in the original show. They do all of their adventures in Mario Brothers 3 show and all the way up to Super Mario World show. Do you understand me? Okay, that is timeline. That's two timelines that separate from the other timelines, okay? Now the main timeline, as you can see here, is actually 100% by if they go down the other drain pipe, okay? Watch this. Then we get to the Super Mario Brothers original video game, okay? Now, that video game story is not very good, but then we get Super Mario World. Now, as you can see, the events are similar because they do both end up at Mario World, but they're not exactly the same. Do you understand? Okay. Now, this timeline, this timeline splits uh, at this game as well. So, first, we get the Mario Kart timeline. In this timeline, Bowser has become completely good after capturing Princess Peach in Mario World. Okay? Now, this is very important. Okay? I need, you to, I need you to listen up here. I need you to listen up here because this is actually quite important. Because that is the only timeline where Bowser is 100% good. Okay? That is very important for you to remember. Now, this other timeline is the Mario 64 timeline. In this timeline, Bowser is still evil... But he's not fully evil, you see, because what happens is we get to the Mario Party timeline, and that is a, a split off of the Mario 64 timeline. Now, what happens there is actually very important. Sometimes Bowser is compelled to not be evil, but most of the time he is still very evil. That is the Mario Party timeline. All the Mario Party games happen in that timeline. Now, the, now the secondary main timeline to that offshoot of the Mario World timeline is Mario Sunshine. Now, that is very important for you to remember because that is the end of that timeline. After that, Bowser is very dead, and so is Bowser Jr. They just don't show it in the game because it's rated G. Now, that's also where we get the Mario CDI games, where Mario and Luigi own a hotel business. Very, very good game. I do suggest playing that game. It's very, very good. Now, there's a lot of games in between Mario World and New Super Mario Brothers, but they don't really matter... Uh, because, as you can see, the timeline kind of makes sense. 
This is the 3D games. This is the Mario Kart games. And this is all of the other normal Mario games in between. So I think you can understand where we're going here. This timeline splits off, obviously, again, into the New Super Mario Brothers timeline. Now, that timeline consists of, of New Super Mario Brothers Wii, uh, New Super Mario Brothers uh, U, New Super Mario Brothers 2, and New Super Mario Brothers Luigi U. Now, I didn't put them all in this timeline because there's very little space, but you get the idea. That is the rest of this timeline in order. Not of release, by the way. They do not, it's not release order. That's not the timeline order. We can go over that in another video. But for now, what's important is that back, way back over here, do you see right here, the Super Mario Brothers movie actually exists in a separate alternate universe. Okay? That is why I titled it Alternate Universe. It's because it is technically a separate universe where Mario and Luigi go down a different third drain pipe that is not shown in that intro. So... We'll get to what's happening in the movie universe in just a second, but let's finish out this timeline real quick. If we continue past the split here, we will actually get to Mario Odyssey. Now, that is very important because after, right after that is also Mario Odyssey 2. As you can see here, uh, this is a leaked image. Leaked image from Nintendo and Reggie Filame, okay? I know both of those people, and I need you to stick with me here because the rest of this is very important stuff. Okay, here we go. Now, as we all know, Bowser, in the trailer, steals the first superstar from the Ice Land, the Ice Kingdom, if you want to be a little bit more specific. So we already have him uh, have gone to the Ice Kingdom, okay? And then, obviously, right after that, we get Mario landing in the Mushroom Kingdom or the Grasslands, okay? Does that make sense to everybody? This is um, very important that you listen to me uh, talking uh, so that you understand where we are in this movie timeline, okay? Next, Mario, after going to the Mushroom Kingdom with Toad, we will find him talking to Princess Peach, and Bowser will show up and steal her and the star for uh, for the land, for this land here. Okay. Now, they Mario and Toad will follow Bowser to the Desert Kingdom, and he will steal another star there, obviously. Um, and you could throw Daisy in there, uh, but that's not super important because she's not really in this movie. She will be in the, uh, the sequel to this movie, which we will talk about in just a minute. But we have to finish talking about this movie first. So then, after, after uh, losing to Bowser again in the desert, they will move on to the Water Kingdom because uh, Mario uh, is, is thirsty after being in the desert. And after that... They will go meet up with Luigi in the Haunted House Kingdom, okay? Now, in this kingdom, Luigi has been stuck here. He went down a, a fourth drain pipe, a separate drain pipe for Mario, which is not what happened in the other timelines, okay? Now, this is very important because then they will go and fight Bowser on his big old ship in the sky, okay? So this is all very important stuff. So obviously, they'll, they'll beat Bowser and whatever. And then we will uh, they'll save Princess Peach, of course. Okay, very important. Um, so sequels. Okay, sequels. We will be getting a sequel, direct sequel, but that will not be the next movie. We will first get a Luigi's Mansion movie, which will actually have a post credit scene at the end, but we will talk about that in just a second. Uh, where Egad will show up. This is what I was talking about. This is the second later. Egad will show up and save Luigi from the ghosts um, in the haunted house, and that will be post credit scene we'll get Luigi's Mansion movie later that'll be the next movie and then we'll get Mario 2 after that but of course it'll be a Netflix original sorry Universal but it, uh, Netflix owns the rights to Luigi actually if nobody if you didn't know that uh, then we will get the Knuckles series this is all going to happen before that Knuckles series then we will get the Knuckles series on Paramount Plus um, and then we will get Sonic 3 and Knuckles that's just what they're calling the movie because they'd be stupid not to call it that. But Shadow will be the villain and Metal Sonic will be in the movie. So do look out for that. Then we will get a Legend of Zelda movie where Link will be played by Tom Holland, uh, which will actually be a live action movie. Uh, and it will uh, be very cool and awesome. Uh, and actually, we haven't talked about this yet, but the other post credit scene for the original Mario movie will have a Mario looking very confused. 
okay? And uh, Master Hand will show up, and he'll be like, yeah, guys, my brother Crazy Hand, he's pretty crazy, and he's going around, and he's getting all the villains, so you got to make sure not we got to I got to get you on here we got to we got to get out of here and um actually at the end of all of these movies we will see crazy hand going um to all of the different villains okay to uh to you know to eggman bowser eggman and ganondorf at this point are the only villains um because those are the only movies but what i haven't said is that the next one is king ddd that's right. A Kirby movie. That will be a claymation style movie, as you can see here from this leaked artwork. And just, it's going to be sick, okay? Then we will be getting a Donkey Kong movie that will introduce all of the other Kong family. Uh, this is obviously not all of them. Uh, obviously, we have Seth Rogen. Uh, obviously, we have Diddy Kong. Obviously, we have uh, Charlie Day's going to voice Dixie Kong as well. Um, and then Robert Downey Jr. is actually going to be uh, guest starring as Cranky Kong. So that's going to be sick. That's going to be awesome when that happens. But then King K. Rule is visited by Taboo. All right. He's going to be visited by Taboo, guys. This is going to be so cool. You're going to love it. It's going to be awesome. Okay. Then we will be getting a Super Smash Brothers movie. Okay, it'll be on Disney Plus only. Are you hearing me? Disney Plus. And then, as you can see in this image, most of these characters are not in this universe yet. So as of as of this film, we will only, uh, at this point, we will not have Rosalina, Mega Man, Samus, Greninja, and um, Olimar. Okay, very, very important. And, of course, Bowser is on the opposite team, so he will not be there. And, of course, also Charizard is also X'd out here. So we'll have Charlie Day, Chris Pratt, um, Charlie D'Amelio, Tom Holland, Ryan Reynolds, and Seth Rogen are our main characters, okay? Now, let me, let me explain to you so you can get a, a visual, because this obviously is not a leaked photo. Um... These two or these three characters here, Mario, uh, Mario Luigi, and Donkey Kong, will be animated by Illumination. Okay, uh, and the minions over there will be making that movie or that part of the film, I should say. Link will be played by Tom Holland in live action, so that will be really cool. Uh, Pikachu, we'll get to Pikachu in just a second, but Kirby is obviously going to be claymation. So this is going to be a very cool-looking film, a uh, very very visionary film. Okay. Now, of course, Pikachu has not been in this universe yet. Who is, who is Pikachu? Well, I already said it was Ryan Reynolds, and that might have gave you a hint as to what I'm about to say. Detective Pikachu is going to be canon, and uh, we're actually going to be also getting this guy uh, as the uh, Pokemon trainer uh, for this universe. So that's going to be awesome. Okay, He's going to have a Charizard, so when we go back here, uh, Charizard actually will be in there, a uh, Greninja will also be in there. So it's going to be really cool uh, when we get this guy when we get this guy in there. So it's going to be sick. Oh. Now. You're not ready for this. Okay, you're not ready. The post-credit scene for that film will be Galim and Darkon. Let's a go. Now we're not getting that film for a while, but we will be getting a Samus movie right after that. Okay. Metroid movie. Then Mega Man. And this will be a tough sell to get Capcom on the, on board with this, but I think it is definitely possible. Then the Mortal Kombat movie will be getting a sequel. Okay. And that's that will uh, be the end of the leaks for today. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope that uh, you uh, had a little bit of a laugh. I might do this for for like something. I don't I don't know. This is really stupid. My next video is going to be.